Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about lighting for starting seeds indoors and growing your transplants. I have another channel where I'll go into more details about the lights, the fixtures, and how you really use them in your grow closet, but today I wanted to talk to you about what lumens means, what Kelvin means. When you're buying lights, you're going to be looking for two things. You're going to be looking for uh, a lumen value. It's on the package. I'll show you that in a second. But that's the total amount of visible light. It really is the brightness and the intensity of the light, and that's what you want. When a seed germinates, it really has to be met by bright, intense light, or it's going to get leggy. It's going to grow really tall and thin, and some of you may have seen that before. You want a high lumen number to prevent your seedlings from getting leggy and not really being healthy. And the number you want to shoot for is between 2,000 and 3,000. And the closer you get to the 3,000, the better. 2,000 is definitely workable. I've even used bulbs with a little bit less than that. The other number that you want to look for is Kelvin, and that talks about the type of light produced. So lumens is the brightness and intensity. Kelvin is the type of light produced. And what that really means is it's uh, sort of like daylight all the way down to soft light. They call it cool light, natural light. And let me show you what it means. 2,000 Kelvin is too low. You really don't want that for seed starting. You want to get up to the number 6500K Kelvin. And on the packaging you'll see warm, cool, natural light. You want to look for the lighting that's marked more cool and natural light. And sometimes it's also called soft light, which is too far down on the scale, or daylight. So you're really looking for cool, daylight, natural, and you want to get to the number 6500K or 6500 6500 Kelvin and that again is the type of light produced and the higher the number the more it is like natural light so that's what you're looking for so you're looking for a lumens value between 2000 and 3000 and a Kelvin value really between I forgot to show you but really between 4100 K right up there and 6500 K I'll show you uh, one type of fixture I use this in the grow box this actually pops up at the end of my video and shows you how to construct it. This sits over my seed starts and when you're using this type of bulb you want this type of fixture. And right away here's a couple examples. You can buy this and this will say soft white light. It's also 40 watts um, or 9 watts with a 40 watt equivalent. Watts is just the amount of energy you're going to use. So the lower the amount of wattage the less energy you're using. Um, but that's not as important as the lumens in the Kelvin. Anyway, this has 550 lumens. That's a too low of a number. That's a bad number. And Kelvin's not even written on here. So this is a soft light bulb with very low lumens, very low intensity, very low brightness. And it doesn't even tell you what it is for Kelvin. So you would not want these. And again, you'll get to see lights that say soft white. Just discard that. You, you really can't use that for seed starting. Here's another type of bulb you might find. This looks bigger. This is a 15 watt bulb, 650 lumens, which is, is too low. That's bad. And then it has 2700 Kelvin, which is too low. That's down on the lower end of the scale. So just because the bulb is bigger doesn't mean that it's better. This is something you would not use. Now, this is what I did a video on last year. I used these bulbs, and it's 23 watt bulbs. It gets to 1600 lumens, which is fair. It's not quite between 2000 and 3000, but the Kelvin is really great. That's almost uh, to the 6500 mark. So you're looking for the two numbers. You're looking for lumen and Kelvin. You want this between 2000 and 3000, and Kelvin between 4100 and 6500. And this is workable. And the way that it's workable is that because it goes into this fixture, this kind of refocuses some of the light, so it increases the brightness. And then you can also have the plant sit a little bit closer to it and that sometimes helps out bulbs that may not quite be you know at the lumen range you want it up closer to 3000 and I've just bought these today just to give you an idea this is uh, again same thing 5500 lumens 5000 Kelvin very work workable but this was $15.97 for four, four bulbs and this is probably well, at least it's the best that I could find for this type of fixture. And this will work at, again, 1500 lumens and 5000 Kelvin. You just have to focus the intensity of the bulb down using this type of fixture. 
And when you, if you want to take a look at the uh, grow light box that pops up at the end of this video, I also line the inside with foil and help, and that helps you uh, increase the brightness and intensity of of the light. Now, in my grow closet, I use four foot fluorescent bulbs like this. I'll show you the fixtures in a second. These are T8 bulbs. Two of them will cost you $9.94. And you can see you start getting up into the lumen uh, number you want. This is almost 3,000. That's great. This is 5,000 Kelvin. That's great. These two bulbs in a fixture will produce the exact amount of light that you really want for seed starting. And I really recommend getting these four foot T8 bulbs. We also have T12 bulbs, which I'll show you. Let me show you another bulb. And again, 2,850 lumens, 5,000 Kelvin. Very, very good numbers. Here's the other T8 bulb. Let's see if I can grab that. And this one is 2,750 lumens, a little bit less than the other one but it's 6,500 Kelvin. That is perfect. So these are two outstanding bulbs to use for seed starting and growing your transplants. And if you can see right there, that's where they'll tell you the numbers. Light output or lumens, 2750, and then temperature of the light, or the color of the light, 6,500 Kelvin, which is really close to natural light. Those are the most important numbers again. Lumens and Kelvin, that's what you're looking for. You're not really concerned about wattage. These are T12 bulbs. These are like the standard fluorescent bulbs you've seen for a long time. They're starting to move to those thinner ones that I just showed you. It's a 40 watt bulb, 2,375 lumens, 6,500 Kelvin. You know, that's a little bit lower, but that's still a good number. That's perfect. So this is a very good bulb set to use here. 2,375 lumens, 6,500 Kelvin, and two bulbs will cost you $8.36. And that's really one of the better ways to go. These are what the fixtures look like. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. So the four foot fixture comes without light bulbs. You have to buy that. And that's going to cost you anywhere from $15 to $40. And the bulbs just pop in and out. So how I use them is I buy the, uh, the fixture and right in here, there's places where chains go. And I just hang these right above my seed starting trays, two or three inches. I have a timer. The bulb light is perfect. I'm growing really uh, strong seedlings. And I get the transplants that I want for my garden come springtime. And here's a T8 fixture. The T8 fixture is sometimes a little bit more expensive. And they're probably $20 to $50. And again, they come the same way. It's just the fixture like this. You have to buy the bulb separately. They just slide right in and they pop in. And you would just hang this right from here with a chain or a string right over your, your seed starts. And it's going to produce the right amount of light with the right intensity, with the right temperature, which is the Kelvin. And you should get seedlings that do very well. If you're doing a big project, you can buy whoop, just lost something. You can buy a big box of the fluorescent tubing, and it tells you here. Uh, 2,600 lumens, and this is 4,100K Kelvin. This is a little bit lower, but this is the best I could find about two years ago. And I've worked with 4,100 Kelvin, and the intensity is great. 2,600 is really, really good. But you can buy yourself a nice big box of fluorescent tubes to save money that way and keep your grow closet going. So just to recap real quick, the most important thing that you want is to have a lumen number that is closer to 3000. This is only 5500. Let's find a good one. Here's the good one. And a lumen number closer to 3000, a Kelvin number closer to 6500. And this bulb set right here is perfect for growing your seedlings and your transplants indoors. Hope you enjoyed the video, have an idea, and understand what lumens and Kelvin mean. So when you go and look for lights, you'll be able to buy the right one for your grow closet. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.